Sometimes friendships languish, and it may be hard to figure out how things got so disconnected. Yeah, you oftentimes you want to restart a friendship that has been broken, and you're trying to figure out, like, all right, how do we do that? That's the question our relationship guru, Dr. Kirsten Lynn Seal, was interviewed about in this month's issue of Real Simple Magazine. So today she's sharing her plan of action to restart a friendship in our relationship reboot. Kirsten, great to have you with us. Great to be here. All right, Kim and I were talking before that there are some <laughs> friendships that you... You cut off for a reason. For a good yes. reason, but sometimes things just kind of separate and you're not sure, you're like, what? Right, what happened exactly, there? yeah. Because so we're not talking here about friendships where you decide that the relationship isn't, it, it really, for whatever reason, isn't working for you and it's not something that you want to keep. You know, the, the numbers that you block, for example, right? Right. Yeah, so n this isn't this. You people know who you are, right. the ones that Kim has <laughs> <Right>. blocked. <laughs> It's right. not you. It's so, not that. No, it's not that. Um, it's when you realize, or like say something happened where you had a disagreement about something and it's, you sort of left, you know, not on a great mm. footing and then you didn't call her and she didn't call you or didn't, right? Right. Neither of you picked up the phone and suddenly you realize that like eight like, months have gone by. Oh my goodness, what happened? Like yes. what do I need to do? Exactly. So I, exactly. I would think, okay, we need to develop a plan. Mm -hmm. um, how do you know, okay, is this something that's my fault or their fault? Exactly. So. That's where sort of self-reflection comes in. And here's the thing. What's interesting is that really whether it's you, whether you decide it's your fault or whether you decide it's their fault, your actions in some ways are going to be really the same. Because what you have to do is reach out, mm. right? Because if they w were able to reach out, they would have done so. But before that, you want to think it through. So if it's yes. your fault. If it's your fault. You need to what? Do you need to get ready to apologize? Yes, you totally need to apologize. And right, so, so and an apology, I mean, this is the repair, this is the engine oil of relationships, right? Mm. Um, no relationship ever goes swimmingly without a rupture or without a dent. There's always going to be something. It's like that old Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. It's always something, right? <laughs> right? So it's always something. So you need to be, if, if you are prioritizing the connection within the relationship, then you need to be the one to say, to be, to have generosity of spirit is sure. one of the ways I like to think about it. And when you're aiming, so if it's you and you are, you are doing the apology, make sure it's a real apology. Okay, now a not real apology is saying something like, I'm sorry you feel that way. Ooh, right? don't say that. Yeah. No. Never. Or like the poli the politician one, mistakes were made. Uh -uh. Yeah. You have to own it. You have to own Probably it. Probably identify what you did, right? Identify what you did exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And acknowledge, here's what I did, and I'm really sorry that I did that. Okay, but what if it's their fault? Right. So this is harder, right? Yes. Because if it's their fault and you still want to connect, you have a choice of whether you can sort of, you bring that up, you reach out and you bring that up and say, you know, here's what happened and I'm wondering how you feel about it and can we talk about it? So you're opening up the conversation. Sometimes if it's a really intensely emotional thing, you might want to meet somewhere like a coffee shop, mm. you know, to, to, to talk about it so that it's not, you're not in a place that's triggering, you Emotions. know. Emotions. Exactly. You can remain cool and calm. Yeah, exactly. That is tricky because you have to reach out, which yes. already is a generous move to make. Yes. Especially if you've been hurt. But exactly. if you want to fix it, you got to do it. Otherwise. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. The thing is, we have to make ourselves vulnerable in relationship if we want to repair. There's really no other way around it. And so we have to kind of step up to the plate for that. That's Very good. Kirsten, thank you. Yeah. Congrats yeah. on being in Real Simple. Thanks That's so really much. great. Yeah. You're right alongside all sorts of cleaning tips, I imagine. Right, yes, yeah, exactly. Very wonderful. Yeah. How to restart an exercise program. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Very good. good.